Hello, John Zimmerman from Tablet Class Math. And I put together this uh, quick little video to help you out there that are struggling with um, sloppy math work to help you kind of overcome that. And of course, you know, my video here is targeted to the student or child directly. But if you're a parent, then this, is, this video is going to be excellent as well because you're going to know the strategies uh, to, uh, to look for and you know, kind of pass on um, or the things to look for and, and the strategies to kind of help your child overcome this. And it is a struggle and it's critically important. Okay, I would have to say um, over the, my, uh, the years of just being a math teacher, and that's a lot of years, I'd have to say at least 50%, maybe even more, of the problems that students have in mathematics, okay? And this is all over the place, you know, whether failing to retest or retention, um, et cetera, et cetera. You kind of just think of the problem, I'm gonna, and I'll tell you something, I would say at least half of the problems I've seen um, is are either directly related to sloppy work or sloppy work is uh, contributing to that. In other words, they're not neat, they're not organized, These uh, the students I'm speaking about. And I think that's actually a good thing because it, sh it because this can be corrected, okay? I, that's a good thing in terms of that, you know, we're not talking about, uh, there's a lot of students out there that, that don't do well in math, but it's not because of a comprehension standpoint of the concepts. It's because they're just not managing their work. And those things can be changed. So this is a tremendous opportunity for your students and parents out there to really help your child um, and really kind of raise the standard if you don't think they're um, neat enough in math and if you would kind of um, classify them as sloppy. Now, I was sloppy and there's a lot of students tend to be sloppy, especially in the middle school age, uh, elementary school age. You know, they're writing, well, well I'd have to say this, really really picks up steam in the middle school age because in, when students are in elementary level, although they're certainly sloppy, they're, you know, they're learning pen, you know, how to print and things like that. There's a big focus on it. When they go into middle school, it's kind of like where they kind of let our kids kind of loose, if you will. But, you know, you'll end up writing math and, you know, like chicken scratch all over the place. So when you look at it, you're, you, you might, you're the parent or you're the teacher, um, or if you are the student, you'll look at your work and it's like, sloppy okay it's not neat that is a problem and it needs to be corrected so I'm going to give you four quick tips here that you can um, uh, employ to really become a neater math student and you're going to see this translate over a period of time into into doing um, doing very well in math okay now certainly if you if you're neat and organized and you're still struggling in math well then there's something else going on there you might want to look at the curriculum that you're using or you need additional practice but but let's first make sure that we're neat math students okay so the first um, uh, tip or strategy that you want to uh, em employ is line use line paper okay line paper like the like the paper well this is kind of a template here obviously it's not actual paper but you can see here it has lines right so don't use like a blank printer piece of paper when you're doing your math and you want to use the lines as your friends okay kind of go back to your elementary first second grade um, uh, days there when you had a print very nice and neat Use the lines to kind of keep your 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 font, you know, all your variables and numbers, you know, kind of um, you know on the same on the same uh, plane. So, for example, if I'm doing an equation, I'm going to use this line you see here. Like I'll say 2x minus 3 equals 7x plus 10. I'm just kind of making this up, but the point here is you can see that this is all on this line, okay? And additionally, that my numbers and variables are kind of all the same size, all right? And they're neat, okay? They're nice and neat. Now here, you, I can see what's going on, okay? I could say, hey, okay, this is the equation, and all right, it's, it's, it's very good. Now, I wrote this at a pretty good s speed. Now, if you write this like this, say 2x minus 3 equals 7x plus 10, if that's the way you would do it, that's the way a lot of students would do it. You could see it's all over the place. It's kind of like on this line. It's various sizes, too small. It's over the place. So you want to use the lines on your paper. So get good college ruled paper. You see this all over the, um, any store. You know, kind of has this. So you want to use paper uh, that has lines on it and uh, a pencil. So you kind of race. Now the next thing 
you want to do is slow down okay so you want to go slow now for me I've been doing this for for you know I've started trying to break my my uh, uh, sloppy work habits probably 25 plus years ago probably even took me even into maybe even college um, and I wasn't as as neat as I am then in the beginning of college but I had to become neat because I was getting a degree in math and doing a lot of engineering work and you just simply you know, you just had to become neat because the professors couldn't read my work. I couldn't read my work and there was a lot of things going on. So in order uh, to kind of make that transition from being sloppy to neat, you know, you, you may have to slow down. OK, so if, it, if you can't write this equation, you know, quickly or effectively in a nice, neat manner, hey, take your time and, and you know, go really slow. So if you're like, well, let me see, three x plus 6 equals negative 8. If that's the best you can do, then then slow down and do that, okay? And now, now this is the hard part. This is going to seem very difficult for most students, okay? And you're like, oh, I just don't have time. I'm impatient. I don't want to go. This is too slow. It's too painful to do this. This is the this is the big turning point for you, okay? If you aren't patient, okay, when you're doing math and you just kind of go back to your old habits, you're never gonna, you're never going to become neat, and you, you will continue to have math troubles, and beyond that, your math troubles are going to grow, okay, because math builds upon itself. So slow down now, so you can speed up and be successful later. All right, so just take it one problem at a time, nice and slow, and over time you'll find yourself getting better and better and better. So use lines, slow down. Now the next thing here is model, okay? Now what, is it, what do I mean by that? Okay, I want you to model someone's work, okay? So if you're in, uh, for example, using my curriculum, tabletclass.com, you see the way I uh, manage problems. I do a lot of, a lot of uh, actual full step explanations of problems. So you should try to model uh, your work, your solutions, the way I'm writing them out. Okay, so you want to emulate, model, you know, work. Now, if you have a textbook, if that's all you have, well, the textbook, you know, although it's printed um, font, it's still showing the organization of the problem, each step, etc. And if you're you know, taking a class with a with a good math teacher um, in some school. The way they uh, are working problems out on a whiteboard or chalkboard, model the way they're they're doing it. Okay, so you want to make your work look like that work. Okay, because your teacher, <laughs> your teachers know if they're successful. Okay, and they've been around and are effective. They know what uh, um, what you don't know if you're sloppy. Which means that the only way to be successful in math, all right, and maybe there's 0.01 percent exception to this. Okay, but 99% of the people out there, the way they get become successful in math is to become neat and organized. There's a direct correlation to neatness and being successful. So you want to model your work the way your teacher is doing it. And they're going to appreciate that as well when you, uh, you know, when you turn in your homework or your quiz or your test. Okay. And I also, I'm going to want to really kind of um, tie into something here when you model, show all your work. Okay show all steps all right, I'll just kind of write that out it's a little not so neat but show all your steps okay and that kind of goes and kind of incorporated in the concept of modeling now last but not least last tip here and it seems obvious is to practice okay you got to practice every day all right so if you're neat sometimes you're inspired and one day you're one day you're neat one day you're not neat well it's not going to become a habit all right so in the beginning, when we're creating new habits and, and making big change, changes, you know, it's always, there's always a transition and it's always kind of, you know, painful. But if you practice enough and you stick with this, I would say beyond a, a month, a month or two, you're going to start finding that, wow, you know, your, your life in terms of mathematics is actually much easier. Okay, and you're gonna you're gonna find more success. You're gonna be doing better. You're you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of compliments on your work, and you're going to feel better about yourself but that has to come from you practicing none of this stuff happens automatically all right so um 
But if you do this, I can tell you, you can stay out of that 50% of those those uh, particular students that should be A students, but are C students, okay? Because they're just not, you know, making an effort to be as neat as possible. And we all can be, um, you know, even if you're just naturally sloppy, and I, I'm, I'm kind of that way in terms of my uh, penmanship and, and whatnot, uh, but I've had to force myself and just kind of build build you know uh, a set of skills to become neater but it pays off all right so if you're a C student because you're kind of sloppy you can easily can become an A student but just becoming uh, neater okay so if you want to know more about um, my curriculum if, if just in case you're not uh, familiar with it and I have here homeschool math programs uh, basically tablet class is full uh, online math courses but I'd say the majority of people that use our program, uh, Tablet Class, are homeschoolers. So, you know, if you're a homeschooler, you definitely want to check this out. Um, and here, and I'm just give you the link down here, uh, tabletclass.com. Um, if you want to go ahead and take a free demo, we, uh, you know, love you to get on to our uh, email list. But anyways, hopefully this video, um, you found value in it. I can tell you right now, if you're not neat, Okay, and if you're sloppy, you have to fix that. You have to fix that. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.